All right, you guys, what's up? I'm about to try this. I have never repotted a plant. You guys know I told you guys several times that me and plants are not besties. Um, I've had succulents and they've died. I'm not really sure how these three plants lived. I bought them almost a year ago from Ikea for $1.99 and they have grown. One has grown so much, the one that sits in the middle, that the pot is pushing itself, the roots are pushing it out. So it is time to repot these. I did purchase some pots from the Dollar Tree. So I got also some soil from the 99 cents only store and I really hope it's good soil because I didn't really want to get it from there, but we're going to try it out. Please, I hope that these stay alive because I'm so proud of myself that they've lasted this long. Girl, hello to the plants because I am like the plant killer and not by purpose okay so we're gonna try this out real quick not real quick but i got my stuff so we're gonna do this uh, picture me folded what? never that boy can't leave the kill without the drugs and the gap no. if i wouldn't select baby yeah that's on my back boy get ear to the max boy Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown Double H. Man, it's be the five. What? MP in the cut. What? Yeah, we get it live. Hey, Moses can't go to any hub. It's connect Shump could. Baby, Shump hella good, baby. Okay, a fab MP, where I used to be. Uh -huh. Pay Street, we was right next to JB. Hot <laughs> box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. Hey, I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100 Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to get this bowl out and I'm just going to take the flour or excuse me, the soil that I got from the 99 cents only store. Now, this was actually 99 cents. I really wasn't too sure about this potting soil, but it said it would be good for all plants, indoor and so forth. Well, you will see later on in the video that this soil is not that great. First thing that I have to do, I got these plants from the Dollar Tree, is I need to make sure that the drainage holes are open and the plant was actually in this hair container that it came in and it is a Dracaena margar I don't know how you even say this but this is what the plant looks like now it was from Ikea and this is the type of the plant and look at the roots so I can't even get the plant out of here so what I'm gonna have to do is cut it out so the first thing I'm gonna do first is I have my soldering knife here and I'm just gonna take it because it's already hot to go and I'm just going to get these um, these drainage things down. I love this tool. I did purchase it on Amazon for $10. And if I forgot to mention, it does come with different bits and pieces. So that way you can drill different size holes or also cut different size holes or slots. This tool is an amazing item to have. And these are six inch, six and a quarter inch plant pots. They say you can punch them out, but they're very hard to punch out. This thing is amazing. It comes with different type of tools at the end. And I paid $10 for it on Amazon. This is great for going through any type of plastic, especially when you're doing DIY projects or styrofoam or, you know, you can't go through metal with it or I don't even think you can go through wood with this, but plastic's definite. This is going to be the hard part. So hopefully I can cut this off. I'm gonna try with this tool here. Now normally you'll wanna take it out, but because the roots are so connected and through the holes, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get it out, the pot, without destroying the roots. And I really don't want to cut them. I'm trying to be really careful because I don't want to sever any of these roots. Even though they say it's okay, but look, me as a plant killer.
these roots are so long and they're so thick in the bottom. So basically I have to cut around the holes just to open it up. So guys, out of three of these plants, I did purchase them all at the same time from Ikea. The one that sat in the middle of the window grew the most. The roots were so like bountiful and this is the only way that I could get it out. So, you know, try not to let the roots get so bad like this. Woo. Oh my God, do you see that? So from what I read, I have to like tease the root and get rid of the old dirt. Now from watching other YouTube tutorials on how to repot a plant, you do need to tease the roots. It's not bad to sever some of them, but I really try to keep them all intact. I'm not really great with plants, so this was a first time for me. This is like, this was my first time. I'm a virgin to repotting plants, but I did a amazing job and I'm really happy that I watched so many different videos. And they say you can cut the roots, but I really don't want to because I'm scared. Okay, let me clean up this mess real quick before I continue on. I wanted to use this pot, you guys, which is a 10 inch pot versus this one, which is a six inch, only because if you see the plant, it's huge. And this is only two inches is bigger than the last one. And if the pot, the, the plant itself has so many roots, it will just kind of smash it. So I don't want to do that to it. So what I'm gonna do first is, fill the pot up with some soil. And I already went ahead and drilled the holes in it. So I'm just gonna take some soil. And I wanna make sure that the pot, the plant is sitting at the same level it was at before. So it needs more soil. And I really hope the soil is good. For all container grown plants, vegetables, herbs, and flowers, this premium potting soil is made from all natural recycled ingredients, good for plants, good for the planet. Peat moss, wood shavings, composited green waste, and perlite does not contain human or animal waste. Okay, it's at lip level. Okay, that's perfect. So now I'm gonna do is water it. All right, you guys, so here goes the, here we go. So the plant is called Dracenia. Uh, basically, it's a tree, it ends up being a tree if you take care of it, but it leads very little work, it says, which is a good thing for me. And that's probably the reason why I stayed alive, but I'm not. Now I'm going to put in some plant food for it. I can't believe I did this. Oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. And I have these from the Dollar Tree and it needs five because this pot is 10 inches. I'm just gonna push them in to the soil. All right guys, look at that. Oh wow. I can't believe I did this on my own with the help of YouTube. Look at that. So now. let's cross our fingers and hope for the best and I will show you when I'm done with the other. All right guys, so I apologize for the lighting because that's where the window is. But if you guys can see, there they go. I ended up putting those ones in the red pots because of course they're much smaller and I did a real good job. They were a lot easier than this big jumbo one right here. And they came out great. 
girl. I did that. Okay, guys, after like a month in, after I have run and repotted these plants, I started noticing all these little gnats around the plants. Never had I noticed this before. My daughter's was like, well, maybe you need to leave it outside. So I did YouTube it, and it's it happened to be that these were fungal gnats. So what happens is if you overwater your plant, you can get fungal gnats. And that's what I did in the beginning because I was really trying to make sure that the pot and the roots were well soiled well you know moisturized so I did overwater them which grew the gnats and then in return they went ahead and produced eggs in my soil I did watch several videos that you can put rocks on top of the soil which the gnats will you know that avoid the gnats it didn't help so I ended up having to repot all three of these plants with this miracle Grow indoor potting mix this blend is absolutely amazing because it will help with not receiving um, gnats. And also if you bottom water like you just see me do right there, then that will help avoid the gnats. Now I did purchase this neem oil from Walmart, which doesn't smell that great, but it's supposed to get rid of the gnats. It doesn't actually do that. It's only a temporary fix. And I seen myself fighting with the gnats, even like those little yellow stickers that you see, those little, these yellow butterfly things inside the pots. These are like traps for flies or any type of insects. So the only thing that I was able to do was to actually repot all three of the plants. Try not to overwater them and definitely try not to get cheap soil. You know, that was my mistake. I did purchase the soil from the 99 cents only store. I think like miracle Grow is absolutely amazing. And it has been a while now and no gnats. And I just, I only bottom water because the roots can directly soak up the water from the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I love you all and I'll see y'all soon.